What's up, everybody? You tune into the most underrated podcast in the game. It's your host, directed by Jay. Co-host, TC Underrated. Co-host, Jade Alexandria. We got an L.A. icon in the building, man. She's she, she been doing her Ooh. thing for a long time, man. For a long time. Right. She's been hey, killing. Hey, you still going viral. by the Dougie Queen? Or, or, <laughs> Dougie Queen. or is that still? Is that <laughs> Y'all who? not ever going to let it go, so no. Nah, I mean, I, you know I know. Yeah. You know I know. We're going to take it way it's back way there. We're going to take it way back Bro. there. We got Storm in the building, y'all. What's the deal? What's the deal? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited. I'm happy to be here. I'm blessed to have another 24. Right, right, right. I'm glad you showed up so short notice. I really appreciate that. Hey, you got me, yeah. you feel me? Yes, yes. we do. He told oh. me he got you. I'm like, what? Storm? When I, I replied at like, what, 1 o'clock? It was like 2 sun. 2 sun morning. Like, Damn. <laughs> like, I was up, though. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for the response. But it's that's God. dope. So let's let, let's take it back before dancing. So you're originally from Los Angeles, right? Yes. Okay, what uh what part of town? The West Side. The like that's like road on wheels and all of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that was your spot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. No, that's dope. So what did you always knew you wanted to uh be a professional dancer? Was that always a, a dream of yours? How did that start? Um, my mom told me that she was into dancing and stuff. So growing up, I used to go with her to, like, dances and stuff. So I felt like it wasn't a thing that I wanted to be professional at it. I just thought that it was just a thing to do around the house with my mama. Right. But right. I was into everything. I was into the sports. So yeah. just to say, yeah. like, yeah, I was into yeah. sports. Soccer. Like, yeah, soccer. Football. Yeah. Hold on. Soccer, football. Yeah, I seen the football, right? I seen the football, yeah. too. Yeah. You actually had the pads on and everything. Like, no, yeah, real life. She was out there real with life. the varsity boys, man. Yeah. So what position was you playing? I, I was a kicker. Okay. Yes, yeah, so okay. I was a kicker. I got on there my sophomore year, and then I was there until I graduated. Wow. So I was the first and only girl at my school. Yeah, because you know, hey. can you be a female uh, college football player? Do they allow that? You or what? can, but okay. it's like, you know, they're going to have to, like, really bend backwards yeah. for that. But I feel like now in the past, like, three or four years, there's been, like, news about women playing football. For yeah, real. they got, like, different women leagues and, yeah. like, flag football leagues and stuff like that for yeah. women. So yeah, yeah. that's dope. That's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. So. Definitely. With the dancing, what, so when did you start really taking it serious? When did everything, like, just, okay, I think this, I could start pursuing this this as a career? Um, Jerkin came. Right. <laughs> that was, what, 2000? Like, 2009, 2010. Okay. So, yeah. Jerkin came around. I was really just with my homies, like, I would just be watching them. Like, I already mm. knew how to dance, but they had crews and clicks. Like, I was right. just with Jerking them. Was big. Yeah, I was it like, was I was just big. hanging out. And I was a fan of the Rangers. Like, you feel me? So I was okay. just like, yeah. let me just be around. Mm. And then I ran into Schoolboy and Johnny at the time. And I was like, their Duggies are insane. That's when it and it made me oh, literally go is. home. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's up. So I just learned from them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's crazy. E- every yeah. day, Dougie. Every day. <laughs> Every Did day. you have your own group? You started your own group? I didn't start my own group. Uh, the homies hit me up like, hey, we try to get a manager. Like, we want to start our own jerky crew. Like, call Drop Dead Ink you down. Like, you'll be the only girl. I was like, yes, yeah, say less. Mm-hmm. So after that, we met with the nigga at Fox Hills. <laughs> and then we started a jerk group from there. And y'all was battling and stuff, right? Yeah, we oh, battled. Okay. We was at the convention center. Uh, oh, okay. We drove down to the bay and battled. Uh, battled all through Chuko's, nigga, all through L.A. Y'all. <laughs> so they call you the Dougie Queen? Yeah. You got the coldest Dougie out there? You, yo, Dougie Hold Cole? <laughs> the Dougie we got to say something after this. <laughs> yeah, no, Hold for on. Real. Yeah. Y'all, that's... I haven't seen nobody Dougie in a minute, it's though. It's been a minute. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what they was calling I her. I can Yeah, this... Um, so, you know, y'all know Kill Mitchell, right? Kill Mitchell. Oh, Good so. Burger. Good Burger. Oh, oh, Kill, oh, okay. Kill, yeah, yeah. Oh, Kill yeah, Mitchell, yeah. 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 So he used to have events called Backhouse Party in Compton, and it was for the jerkers. Mm. So he would have title stuff like, oh, Prince, he thought it was smart, which it was. He was like, mm. Queen of Jerk, Prince of the Jerk, Prince of the Dougie, da 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 So the homies was like, Storm, just go do it. I'm like, say less. So I did the thing, did the battle, lost like right before the last battle. Mm. I was like, all right. So I was crying, I was sad. I'm like, man, like, they cheated me. I don't care about none of that. They was like, Storm, just go back. So I went back, did the Queen of Dougie, got all the way to the end, lost. I was like, you know what? <laughs> Maybe it's just not my calling. <laughs> oh, so that kind of. That but I had like got a, I had like a personal one on one with Schoolboy, Young mm-hmm. Sam. Like niggas just telling me like Storm, like you got it, it's cool. Like just train up. So I was like, fuck it. So I trained up and I made a YouTube video in my garage and I called her out at the end. The, the girl who won the Queen of Ducky, her name was Bella Ray. I called her out and then she met up on Melrose. We always at the little event. Took the title, got the title. That was that. Like that title crazy. got the titles. Rap. So wait, did you specifically like train the Dougie itself or were you training like hip hop? Like what other styles? So growing up, we didn't really have money. 
my mom didn't, you know, I didn't have the professional training, so mm-hmm. I wasn't in classes. I wasn't in none of that. So it was just on some normal black stuff. But, of course, when we got to, like, jerking, I was like, okay, I like the buggy. So that's all I was doing. Yeah. Like, trust me, like, I was everywhere. Store, <laughs> party, your mama house, your granny house. Like, you knew that I was like, oh, she going to dug you today. So right. then, of course, I yeah. had to do the jerking to be in a crew. So I was jerking and pin dropping. But my knees, it's not equipped for all that. <laughs> so I just kept it real up here. So I was mm-hmm. just being cute and dug I don't dug know in. how people <laughs> pin drop. I'll try that right Jeez, now. I'm going to break something. I ain't <laughs> ain't I've never been able to do it, to be honest Let with you. Let me tell you, I don't think I ever did it right because I always had bruises on my knees. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you, you hit it every time. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, why they don't look like mine? Yeah, definitely. Went wrong. So, were you a part of the the Tommy Clown Wave, Tommy the Clown Wave too? I know they were pretty big in Los Angeles. I know uh, that was like a big thing out here. Did you ever try? I and remember you being on. Yeah, I was clowning. Uh, so I clowned for a guy named Boomer. So Boomer mm. the Clown, he danced with Tommy. Oh, he okay. left in 2014, started his own group. I met him in 2015, and he was like, "Hey, I see potential with the whoop." Because I, what I did was. I stopped dancing because Schoolboy passed away. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, that's out. Like, the dancing is out and play football. That's when I started playing football. Okay. So when I graduated mm-hmm. high school, they hit me like, hey, the clowns are having an event. Come back and battle. It's going to be the jerkers versus the clowns. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. it's just not. <laughs> nigga, what? Yeah. <laughs> so then in my head, I'm like, God, what would Schoolboy do? Go to the battle. So I went to the battle, battled the girl. Boomer saw me and was like, I see potential. Like, I can make you a clown dancer. Like, I could really get you lit. Mm-hmm. Chill. That same week, went to his house, got put on, and was right there on 45th and Wadsworth every day. <laughs> so would you say his passing uh, kind of pushed you a lot more, just kind of, just because thinking about him, like, okay, what what would he would want me to do? Oh, Is most that, definitely, because yeah. he had a big impact on, like, my dancing, especially mm-hmm. once I figured out I wanted to do it for real. Because mm-hmm. he used to tell me, like, you you the one that's going to make it out of here. I was like, you're going to mm-hmm. make sure you're straight. Like, don't worry about us. Keep doing you. So, I always keep that with me. You mm-hmm. So so when did you realize that the dancing, like, you were really elevating your so dancing career? When did you graduate from the Dugging? When I graduated <laughs> from the Dugging, yeah. So I was Dugging, 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 let's see, like, 2017, 2018. So I started doing visuals with Cooley, and Cooley was on the same group as my jerking group. So I've known my videographers. The videos y'all see, that's my, like, my dog. We've oh, been okay. jerking that's since we up. was, like, I've known him since I was 13. So... We linked up, and he was just like, hey, I want to shoot videos with you. Like, you know, I'm in the industry now because he's older than me. So he's cold, he was, too, by the way. He's thank super you. cold. It's yeah, crazy. The videos is crazy, videos. for sure. He really, no. a dan- he really wow. danced, though. Like, he went on tour with Fergie. Like, he really, like, he was doing commercials. That man. So he hit me like, hey, I picked up a camera. Like, what you trying to do? I'm like, pull up. I ain't seen him in a minute. Mm-hmm. Pulled up. We did one video. I posted it. Nick was fucking with it. So I was like, dang, let's just start doing videos right. i don't care what you got we started with an osmos like a small camera right yeah, and yeah. a small speaker okay. and we was just going everywhere and i was like whatever you want to do nigga and around that time what, what platform was really boomer was it was it still over the facebook wave or was instagram um, like kind of bubbling at that point instagram was like bubbling okay. so i was like okay cool we could take over instagram so we did the instagram thing then like diddy posted me i performed with his son like it was just a lot going oh, on wow. Um, wow. Then I got into the industry. People like started hearing my name. Like, oh, who is this girl? And that like, was just from kind of going viral. You was just doing videos, and it was just it was just going crazy on, on Instagram, and, and people just started reaching out. That's crazy. Just being consistent, you know, because at the mm-hmm. end of the day, like every video y'all see, I don't get paid to do that. Mm-hmm. I do that off love because right. that's what I like mm-hmm. to do. Mm-hmm. Like right. I love to dance. Right. So I'm doing this out of like, oh my god, like I love to do it. But now that I know that people love to watch me do it, and I know what it does to people, I'm mm-hmm. like, you know what? Why not? Like, I'm just gonna keep doing it regardless. So mm-hmm. after all that, I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, they posted me, and like that didn't put money in my pocket. You feel me? Right, but right. now that is making me want to push even harder because clearly that man saw me. You feel me? Yeah. So after that, it just that's started that man going crazy. Too, that's crazy. Man, <laughs> like I've been that seeing you been, bro. It's man. been Dang, wow, man. bro. Like I don't. <laughs> I just got it's got yeah no, yeah no. Right. and like Definitely. you said being consistent that kind of you never know where it's gonna go but if you keep dropping consistently something's going people gonna Some keep gonna watching bubble. like yeah she going crazy no matter time. what no matter mm-hmm. how many views you get how many yeah. likes you get how many comments you mm-hmm. get nigga i used to be i used to send my videos to everybody every celebrity i liked every music artist i like um producers directors i used to just put in their dms like hey i'm storm today Hey, I'm storm da, da, da. Even after that, you mm-hmm. feel me? Like I'm still gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm gonna work for myself. And was that was he the first person that reached out to you, or not reached out <laughs> but re- reposted? Did he? Was no. Uh, it just that started going. Yeah, yeah. I can't even. I, it's <laughs> been a while. It's been. It's, it's been a while. That was in 2019. So then, like oh, wow. yeah. 2020, uh, COVID hit. Right. 
Um, after that, that's when things start happening. So I got okay. booked for to do BT Wars with Meg in 2021. Mm, I seen that. That's crazy. Yeah, so that's I was crazy. like, whoa. I was like, all right, bet. Say that. So, so at that <laughs> point, what's going on in your head? Do you think you, like, not made it, but, like, is it like, okay, I didn't, I'm, I'm there. There has been a lot of times where I've shot for a lot of big people, and it's like, okay, I didn't made it. Which I did we, that. You know, uh, yeah. Um, not at, at that point, I was like, okay, I'm getting my foot in the door. Because you got to realize it. I feel like, I was just talking to my brother about this earlier. He was like, bro, no cap, like, you really like the face of dance for LA. Like mm. you the only dancer that I follow. And I'm just like, Oh, okay. And it's like a lot of niggas. I know that LA that only follow me and only watch me dance. Right, right. So I just be like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's wild. That's so, are you coming up with your, uh, your own choreography or you have help with that as well? Or is it, I come up with my own, but at the end of the day, I'm a freestyle dancer. So I don't, there's nothing I, I don't, That's everything crazy. y'all see me do is not rehearsed. It's just off, off, the, off the top. So every head. video is just take. off the, one oh, take. one take. It's and one it's just, take. no cap. Like I'm not oh, lying. Okay. Because so one, I'm, t- I get tired. I'm, yeah. I get tired. <laughs> okay. So me and Cooley. And then again, Cooley is that nigga and he's known me for so long. He's already adapted to shooting me. Mm. So he knows my body already. So he just like already knows the vibe. Like he'll know like, okay, she finna go. Yeah. Yeah. Or and it probably she's helps finna chill. Too, he's yeah. A dancer, is so he kind of knows what, what, it, what, what, to expect with the shooting exactly is he the one shooting the uh family function videos too? yeah so he's the one who shoots who started that who started doing that like that was yeah. that's you yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, that, that should be lit like, <laughs> i lit. seen I be laying in there i have to throw people in there i've seen a few, people. Yeah. Seen a a few people in there i knew i'm like oh it's 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 popping like it's cracking man i don't know it's really the visuals after i started feeling like people started fucking with my visuals i'm like damn like Okay, cool, bet. After that, I just started getting recognition, like just started getting invited places. Niggas like, hey, pull up here, pull up there. Mm. Um, after the BT with Meg, that same week, they called me for the Migos, and I was like, bet. Damn. So, <laughs> but mind you, I don't dance in heels. So they were like, hey, we want you. They love your specialty because I'm um, considered, like I said, a freestyle dancer, but then there's also mm. the industry dance. So I'm kind of making my own lane in the industry dance right now because I'm a freestyle dancer that's getting booked to do things mm-hmm. that right. they would give me the book to do. Mm. But they fuck with what I do so bad. They like, what? They we want, want her. They want mm-hmm. you. Yeah, we yeah. don't even right. want that. So it's just starting to get to that point. So I just started getting caught. They was like, hey, we want you for your specialty. And I was like, bet. But then when I got to rehearsal the same day, they were like, you need to learn this choreography. And I was like, hey, yeah, so bet. Is that There's, a struggle? Yeah. You is know, it a struggle? That's something I was going to really ask you because, you know, I got some experience from dancing too. So for you, like in the industry, I know there's like a difference between like you being a freestyler and then industry dancers. When you're like trying to work with them, do you ever like feel any tension or like kind of struggle like um, working with them? Yeah, like, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. sometimes because ego gets ahead. They feel like since exactly, I choreograph yeah. or Beyonce or I've been on do, 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 like da, 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 I do this, I do that. Like I'm on tour all the time. You feel me? Yeah. Like That's the energy they get. But at the same time too, I'm like, but we in the same room. Exactly. I'm, looking right, yeah. I'm looking right at you. So yeah. right. what's and, up? And you know right. what? I have like respect for freestylers because it's like I feel like anybody can mimic choreo but to like come off the fly with stuff that's really creative like you're a true exactly. creator yeah. thank you thank you know because i've been having to explain that to people yeah. i'm like y'all not getting it like it's for me to get in the room and then she's like i'm like i thought i was just going to do freestyle yeah. so i'm in a room and she like yeah we called you today was rehearsal at one but we got to be in palmdale today at three o'clock mm. so you got to yeah. learn this routine right now she said what size are you i said seven she said i have heels for you i said what <laughs> you're like hold oh on. my god <laughs> So Dance I'm in a house. room with, with, with girls that are that did tour with Beyonce, that did, did tour with Future, like right. do dancing heels all the time. Mm. So I'm in there like, fuck. And they looking at me like, storm hard, you feel me? But is she going to pull up for real? Because it's what we do. Right. So I'm in there like, I'm like, okay, okay. So the whole two hour drive there, I'm in my head like, okay, storm, don't forget the step. Don't forget the step. Don't forget the step. I'm texting my best friend like, bro, I'm going to forget the step. I'm going to forget to see like, you got it. Tell me why we get there. They doing BTS, we chilling. I'm about to, the crafties, this fool Quavo come up with the BTS guy behind him. He like, what's up, dancers? He like, let me see the step y'all got going on. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Right on the spot. The choreographer She's was like, right next to me, and she was there. He was like, come on, let me see. Like, I already know y'all got that hot shit going on. <laughs> so we started. I was like, dun, 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 dun. and we low key like, I love messed up like that first eight count. He was like, oh, it's cool, it's cool. We know you. I got it, y'all got it. Mm-hmm. But it was like cool to meet them. Like 
even the whole thing rest rest in peace take off like even mm-hmm. him like i always bring that up he was a cool spirit he was cool like our like in wardrobe was all messed up and like our chest was out and stuff and he was like hey like after it takes and stuff he like hey make sure make sure they know they stuff out like they ladies like you know what i'm saying like make sure they 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 good so i was oh, like yeah, you know sure. yeah, so it was yeah. like it was just cool to see tank, like he sure. was cool like that they all was dope but after that, it just started going yeah yeah because I just started ever doing everything. Up? Mm, like oh, of course, but I don't think they knew that. that yeah, yeah. yeah I always got to slip freestyle. up. Yeah, you just that's freestyle. Yeah, yeah. You're going that freestyle yeah. mode if you do. Yeah, yeah like, that's what they she tell me. Doing? She that back yeah. there fucking it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, she done came up with <laughs> something. No, she meant to do that. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No, yeah. but it's yeah. it's definitely a, it's a struggle, and I do have to be like um, real disciplined when it comes to choreo sometimes because it is gonna be a moment, you know, where I want to be in my bag, and if I want to work with so and so, I'm gonna have to pick it up. So. What? So, yeah. ahead, tell me about the. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the Super Bowl. Oh. That's that's big. <laughs> mm. that's, huge. that's real that's big. Huge. Like, that's very huge. You know, huge. people would love to do that. Yeah, How was that? That's huge. I'm still trying to digest it. <laughs> um, I I got the crazy part is I didn't even get that call for me. I oh. got the call for. The little girl that was in the third family function, she was getting off. She had the blue Nike shirt off, and it was to you by Lucy Pearl. It was a third family function, and she mm-hmm. was dancing, and um, I was sick. Oh, so much going on. Okay. So I have a condition called endometriosis, right? Mm-hmm. Messes up my stomach, da, 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 I get sick every month, whatever. Um, I was in bed, throwing up, crying, like couldn't walk, couldn't talk, da, 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 da. D Smoke caught, text my phone and was like, hey, sis, Fatima Robinson is trying to get in contact with you. And my little homegirl was like, Storm. Talking about D Smoke. D Smoke. From Rhythm and Flow. That yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. He okay. hit me and they was like, D Smoke takes you. I was like, what to say? And they read it to me. And Fatima, so just a little background Fatima. Fatima is the one. Like, her mm-hmm. first job was Remember the Time, Michael Jackson. She choreographed. She choreographed all Damn. the Lee, she choreographed all the Leah stuff. Beyonce, she just did the Beyonce stuff. Y'all just saw in Dubai. Like, if you look her up, she's that girl. Mm-hmm. So when I, when I was crying and shit, and they was like, Fatima, I was like, what? And then they gave him money. He was like, I'll give you a number. And she called me. And I stopped crying. Put that part aside real quick. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hello. <laughs> and she was like, hey, I'm just reaching out to you about the little girl that was in your video. Dr. Dre really wants her for the Super Bowl. Um, just let me know how I can get in contact with her. I was like, it's me. Like, I can get you her. Like, what do, what do you need? Like, what's up? Right, right. And then um, I was like, but actually, can I call you back tomorrow? Because I'm actually not in good condition right now. I'm not feeling well. I mm-hmm. hope I can just get this call back for you tomorrow. Right. She like, well, before I get off the phone, I want to see if maybe we can collab on something, maybe like do some choreo for the Super Bowl, like see if you're interested. And I was, but at that point, I couldn't even react because I was in pain so bad. So oh. I was just like, I was like, man, thank you. I was like, I'm going to call you back tomorrow. Okay, I'm so sorry. She's like, no, 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 call me back. Went to the hospital literally like five minutes after that. Was in the hospital the whole time like, Oh my god! I don't know if I'm gonna do the Super Bowl. Did I just tell her I'm gonna call her back? Like, what am I talking about? Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, oh my god! Oh my god! Like, Dang. what is going on? So I just I couldn't sleep. I woke up. I called her back, and she was like, "Yeah, we're gonna have auditions next week. Like, pull up." So I pulled up to auditions. I thought I was auditioning, no cap, because I mean that's just how the world goes. Yeah, Especially right, like coming right. from a call from her in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have. She's gonna have to watch me dance in uh-huh. person. Period. Mm-hmm. But I got there, and she was like, "Girl, we're here. Like." Choose the dancers. We gonna choose them together. Like they finna come here and audition. We got it. Like we gonna teach them the choreo. My you, I didn't come up with no choreo. So she made me freestyle, and then she what? said, what? "What you did right there is what we gonna do." That's so wild. the first take That's was crazy. was that was it. So I was like, "Oh!" So I was in the mirror while the dancers was there. I'm like, "Okay, get it together." So on the spot, I got it the fuck together. So what is going through your head? Like, do you just want to? There's nothing going on, in my head. Just, like, I was yeah. just like, hey, like, how do you just come up with the next move? Yeah, like, I don't like, know, y'all. Like, I can't even tell you. That's this. talent. Huh? That's no, no, for period. real. How did the nerves not get to you? Like, I was in that stressed moment. out because I had to teach sixty people. I did, it was an audition for five hours, so I had to teach groups of 60 of men just like kept going kept going bye 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 thank you for coming thank you thank you <laughs> yep we want you yes yep yep so i'm just like wow is this my life like wow, what's going on man. you cutting people right on the spot so after that yep, after that we did um we kept just having our um rehearsals there. Mm-hmm. we started rehearsals and it was just super dope to see um mary and 50 and eminem and snoop and like just see them work as adults. You feel me? Like right, hearing their right. music and like seeing interviews and just seeing them like throughout the years as a kid and growing up. I'm like, oh my god, okay, yeah. You but right like seeing them, them as like a grown, yes. like they grown and they about their business. They like they we here to work. Like what's up? I'm like, what is that? Oh, wow. let so me you tell y'all the whole thing. Not That's the whole you. thing. Oh. It was the uh. So I was in. 
the 50 cent part, 50 like slash Mary. And then I choreographed the Dr. Dre. So it was the crib oh, box okay. section. Yeah. Okay, so okay, okay. I wasn't even supposed to be in that, but she threw it threw me in that last uh, leave. But I had a quick conversation with Kendrick on um, rehearsal. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I was like, I'm going to tell y'all. But um, Damn, that's okay. crazy. we was in rehearsal and we were just going over the routine, going over the routine. And I had turned my back to like, they was like reset. So I was like going to reset. And every time Kendrick Park came on, I swear it was a stand in for him because I don't know, Dub, the guy that we were working with, his name's Dubs. He kind of looked the same. So I thought that was him the whole time. Uh -huh. But when I turned around and I accidentally bumped, it was Kendrick. And when I turned around and I looked up and then I was like, Storm, you got to say something. So I was like, hi, I'm, and he was like, Storm, I already know. He was like, you're amazing. Like, keep doing what you're doing. I see your work. Like, Damn, this you? Man. He was like, this you? He was like, oh, yeah, this fire. Yes. Like, keep doing you. I was like, oh, I was like, no, you're, you're dope. <laughs> I was like, yeah. you're yeah. dope. I was like, no. Nah. I was like, wait, let me just, I was like, I'm going to cry. I was like, I'm going to just walk away. And what? then he was like, keep doing you. And I just walked away. What celebrities yeah. do you, does that happen to you a lot? Or have you gotten used to being around like all those A-list celebrities? Like, how is it? I know Kendrick, I would have been stuttering I'd too. Like, I was, yeah. I was I shook. Yeah. Stunned. My stomach was in my ass. Because <laughs> after that, I'm like, what? Like, this is. No, nah, that's crazy. That's really that's crazy. That's big. Like, especially Kendrick. So is it, how many other uh, artists are just, you know, people that you work with. Who, who else done that to you? Who else made you feel like that? I feel, I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like I've met Tony. Uh, Snoop, same way. Yeah, I would have felt like that. Was um, yeah, for sure, Snoop. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He was like, oh, he was like, oh, Storm. <laughs> I was like, what's up, Snoop? What's up, Ugg? <laughs> like, what's up with you, fool? <laughs> he like, nah, you be killing that shit, man. Like, cause they all just tell me the same thing. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, they just watch me work. So I just think it's amazing. But it's a list of them. I ain't gonna cap mm -hmm. to you. That shit, that shit I like how they big. really included all Los Angeles natives for the Super Bowl. Like they, they didn't grab you, you know, straight from LA and like they did I think they did it the right way. Yeah, that, they that, they, that they did it. They did shit. Yeah. It was they dope. Did. It was really they did they shit. It was a great process. It was dope. Um best time of my life. I didn't feel nervous right until we walked into uh to the stadium. So our from our tent to the stadium. I was like, whatever, like everybody hype. We like, oh, ah, like we gotta perform. I'm like, mm. ah, like we look bomb. Yeah. Nigga. We walked into the stadium, and I heard all of them in there, and I started sweating. And I swear <laughs> to you, I wanted to cry. Like my my makeup, it was so much going on. Like I couldn't cry, so I just kept looking up, and the boys was like, "Yup, yup." Is that the biggest crowd that you've ever been in front of? I feel like it was because the forum, the forum. I think that was the biggest mm -hmm. because other than the forum, I think that was the biggest. It probably sounds. Crazy, but it was man. crazy. I didn't hear nervous. nothing. And then the it literally hit reality when y'all saw, you know, like right before it started, like the little, it was like the piano keys. And then she was mm -hmm. on the thing like, and we got the super. And then when I heard her, I was like, oh my God, it's going to come. <laughs> then when I heard the doom, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, then, I, then after that, it was up. My in-ear fell out. So I didn't have the music in my ear the whole time. Oh, damn. What? I was just going off the, it was an echo. I was going off the echo and the dancers. You oh, talented, yeah, man. Man. You talented. Raw. That's a raw. That's yeah, a raw. I was People. sick to my stomach. I got on that car. I was in the middle car. As soon as I hit the first step, it fell out of my ear and it fell in the car. And I was like, "Fuck!" Does that happen a lot? I feel like damn, because dancers, you got a lot of movement going on. Like, right. well, not really because we don't have to. Have? We don't really have to wear in ears all the time unless like you're on tour or like you're doing big performances okay. like that. But like once that happens, they don't really care. They're like, "You got to wear it." Like, mm, so I okay. tried to like, I tried to like. Put it all through my thing because mm. I be getting off and I'm like, look, it's gonna fall out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it was cool. And then I had one last conversation with Kendrick walking out. We was walking out uh, to our cars, and he was with his son and the security. And we was walking, and I was like, hey, congratulations. And he was like, no, congratulations to you. He's like, you just did your thing. He's like, I want to work with you. We gonna work soon, all right? And I was oh, like, say oh less. I would have lost it. So I was like, nah, say less. And I was real. like, have a good you, night. You've been doing. I, 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 you've been doing your thing. I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm, you. I'm proud to see you doing your thing. You know, Thank you. I, I've been knowing you for a minute. So since we was kids, since we was kids. So <laughs> to see you doing these type of things is, is is real big, and I'm glad to see you doing it. Keep good doing your looking. thing for real. Thank you. What has a a bigger impact to you, like as far as like emotionally? Because I know you do a lot of stuff for the community, like uh, like the um the family the family dances that you're doing. And those are usually all L.A. natives. So bringing the community together, I know that has to feel good as well, just kind of bringing everybody together. Do, are you more emotionally, like, attached to that? Or do you prefer, like, you know, or... I think I'm emotionally attached to that because there's so much that goes on in L.A. Mm -hmm. And I know too many people. I know a lot of people that beef. I know a lot of people that don't get along. But, I, you know, I know them. We talk. 
Mm-hmm. Um, you know how the rap scene is. You right, already know right, how the street right, are. So right. it's just a beautiful thing that I could reach out to people and be like, hey, like, this is what I want to do. If you could just show up for me for like an hour and just give me a cameo. I got food for you, drink, whatever you mm-hmm. need. Just show up. It's you can bring your security. Love. I got security. Like, it's cool. Like, mm-hmm. you're good. Right, right. And then I'm like, oh, banking on the yes and banking on the yeah. Um, sometimes they flaked. A lot of them a lot of them didn't. A lot of them showed up every mm-hmm. time. So it was just good to see that because my whole objective was, you know, I don't talk to my, none of my blood-related family. Like, my mm-hmm. mom and none of that, my dad, rest in peace. Like, I don't, it's just not what I do. Mm-hmm. So I have people who are not. You know, that's how it go usually. Right, right, <laughs> it's right. like yeah. the blood, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I started that because I wanted to be around people and just show how a community works and how you can still have family even if it's not yours. And also, too, to put people together to communicate and bond and also be able to promote each other. You know, For sure. no, the first right. one, right. but the first, no, the second one was cool because I had niggas, Westside Boogie and D Smoke was there. Mm-hmm. So I had niggas there that was rappers and producers that's never met them before. But oh, they fans, okay. you feel me? Right. But mm-hmm. it gave them the opportunity to go up, which I saw and For literally sure. wanted to cry. Literally walked up to this nigga, Westside Boogie, and they was like, look, bro, we fans. Like, we got a whole album. With he like, play it for me right now. They talking, they even got the. Instagrams, right. you feel me? And I'm like, right. see, that's what it's about Community for real for me. That's literally right, what yeah, it right. was about. If you guys watch the video, how many seconds I'm in there? That like is five true to ten. You, yeah, is true. you got the <laughs> first <laughs> one, and, and that's it. Everybody else, that's is, it. Yeah. Like, it's not about me. I'm not even gonna lie. Nah, it's not the about game me. With that. I be watching them at least like five times back to back. Mm-hmm. Y'all be gigging. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> mama, y'all you gotta do. watch it like 10, 15 you times. Do. And like, a lot of it be gigging. improv too, because like what I do with the dialogue, like, so the fourth one was This Is How We Do It. So I had Bad mm. bad Luck, um, Lil Deuce, Aja, uh, Buddy, you bringing Kent people Jams. Together. Yeah, I had oh, people pull out. Yeah. Um, and with that, with the dialogue, what I do is I, I tell them how I want the video to go. And I just, we just start talking. Like, I was like, hey, what's like, what's the L.A. bankers y'all think? And then we smoking, we drinking, we talking, and everybody started talking. I'm like, exactly. You see how the conversation we just had that was natural? We can mm-hmm. do the same thing on camera. Like, what you just said, just say that however you want to mm-hmm. say it. Like, that's right. how it go. I don't really do the script like, oh, you have to say this. Like, I don't do that. Yeah. I let right, them say it right. how they say it, how right. they will say it comfortably. Mm-hmm. You feel me? As them, as being them. So Quan helps a lot too. Uh, that's the homie. Shout out oh, to my yeah, homie yeah, Quan. Yeah, that's my Kwan, dog. Yeah, uh, yeah. He help a lot too because you know he acts and he does a lot of scripts yeah. and stuff. So it'd be to dope. Talk to him too. We gotta get him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tap in. Yeah, tap in, in with bro. Yeah, uh, so definitely. it's been a vibe. It's been cool. People been pulling up. Um, yeah, I got you nine really so far. The game with that, I really love seeing that, Thank especially you. just because like something for the culture, something for no, the LA community. I don't know. You really changed the game with that. Thank that's you. my favorite thing right now that that's going on right Thank now. You. Is, is that? That's, it's been wild. I ain't gonna yeah. cap to you. Like I just get this creative juice. Like the Pastor Cavassier one, of course, because oh, love don't cost. That a one, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my that favorite was hard. movies. <laughs> that was hard. Um, the other ones, like the house party one, that's from uh, mm. Friday at the Next when they had the house party, the little mm. ramp party, like when right, I did that right. one. Like it's just all sparks of my creativity. It's never a thing that I plan unless. I'm like, okay, I want to do this, but I'll just watch a movie and then be like, oh, coolie. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm like, bro, I want to, uh, and then I want it to look like this, mm-hmm. and then I want us to say this. We could do that next Sunday. And he'd be like, yeah, say less. And I'd be like, all right, let's do it. So it's also a thing about having people around you that support you and also understand right. your goals as well and right. be able right. to have people around you that understand that you're also a boss, but they a boss too, mm-hmm. and that right. y'all can be bosses together. Because it, it gets that. hard when, you, when you're when you in the industry and you're doing things and you're getting deeper and deeper and deeper and you're getting owner and owner and owner. Mm-hmm. Nigga, your friends ain't going to be your friends sometimes. They right. become haters and get jealous. And that's yeah. not that's not what they want to do and it might not be, but sometimes that's just how they feel yeah. because right. that's not what they got. But that's they're true. around. You feel me? Like last year, bro, I didn't lost about like six people, not to death or nothing. Yeah, yeah. Right. But just mm-hmm. off like just they had to off. fall off. They had to fall off the, the train, bro. And I, right. didn't, I didn't mess with them for a long time. And mm-hmm. it hurt. Like last year probably was the best worst year ever like i was crying a lot from Mm -hmm. january to december like i was down bad y'all would never know but i was down bad because i'm just like how could how could you everybody can't go with you to the top and i'm just like dang y'all can't see what i'm trying to do around here so your team's small right now as far as what i have one manager (laughs) it's usually three niggas with me him and about four other niggas Mm -hmm. my brothers and then the council is the women collective that I dance with as right. well. Uh-huh. But that's it. Yeah, you got to keep it small. Right. That's yeah. it. So you got to keep yeah. it small. But you uh, you mentioned house party. Was you supposed to 
do something yeah. with that. With the oh new my one. God. Yeah, yeah, look, let me tell y'all. <laughs> I was in rehearsal. It was like three weeks in. I get the text. Calmatic, like, hey, I need you for your house party tomorrow. Like, come through. Like, we need you. We got you. I got a uh, scene for you right now. Oh. So I text. And, nice. I, and I was in rehearsal. So when I got home, I saw it. And I was like, what? I was like, what is it? Where? When? The house party. Da, 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 da. I'm like, what? Man? And then I thought about it. I'm like, bitch, wait. You're on rehearsal for Super Bowl right now. Mm. Because with COVID, mm. niggas was getting fired left and right. When oh, you get COVID, okay. it's up for you. Oh, so me, damn. I didn't see nobody for a month. When I tell you, not not Ningun, like only the people in my house. Like I was just going, picking up, come outside, give me it. Uh-huh. That's it. I'm not doing none of that. I'm not COVID testing every day. You feel me? Until I got to go to rehearsal. Right. So I just told them, I text back like, hey, I'm not going to cap to y'all. I was like, I appreciate the opportunity, but... I respect, and I couldn't tell them why. So I was like, mm. I respectfully got to decline. Hope you have a good movie. Oh, so man. when I did, when we performed, Calmatic was like, congratulations. Woo, woo, woo. And I was like, remember when I told you I couldn't come to the movie? I was like, oh, it's because yeah. of this. And he was right. like, oh, I'm not even tripping. Like, mm. don't worry about it. I got you. So he looked out still, like did the movie right. premiere and stuff uh-huh. like that. And made sure, you know, I still felt love and stuff. Mm-hmm. But right, it was just a right. beautiful thing to see a lot of my homies on the screen mm-hmm. and like see everything from L.A. and people like sure. even airplane, like just that it one changed just, the game too. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I was nah, really iffy snapped. going into it. I'm like, damn, they do another house party. Yeah. I don't know. That was the best movie. No, he snapped. Yeah, yeah. That he shit snapped. was fire. I'm not even gonna lie. It was fire. It was, it was for sure fire. Yeah, that, it was a beautiful was thing. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. I was like, damn. <laughs> That would have been amazing if you could have got on that, you too. For you, too. You probably I had a couple know. lines in there, too. Man. I was trying to get... <laughs> no, oh, for real, you probably would have had a line or two in yeah. there. You probably would have for it sure had a line. But it was, it was God's crazy. timing, though. It was God's timing. I was mm-hmm. like, you know why? Because the next time I get asked to be in a movie, it's going to be because I'm going to be the lead dancer or I'm going to be acting. Right, mm-hmm. right. Just right. like that. Right. So, speaking of acting and stuff, I know you, you're going into your directing stages now. Like, yeah. I see you directed Which Bino's last video. Yes. Uh, not the last video, but um, if you ever, if you ever, yeah, yeah. that shit fire. Man, yeah. let me tell you. So I yeah, know, I started I getting B- into the director. Was B-Lin in that one too? Who? B-Lin? Oh yeah, B-Lin was in that okay, one. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. With that, um, I just told Cooley like, look, I'm trying to take my directing bag, you know, because I was direct. I direct all the family functions. So mm-hmm. in my brain, I'm like, if I could do this, I could do, I could do music videos for sure. So. So I just got a list of niggas that I wanted to do free music videos for. I knew I was going to get no bread as long as they could trust me just to give me that chance. So if I could put it out and niggas see, they'll pay me for it. Mm. So I just reached out to bro. I was like, hey. And I remember I, he hit me and I performed with him last year. Yeah, I performed with him last mm-hmm. year. And he was just like, we going to work. But you know, niggas. So yeah. I was just like. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Um, But then he hit me and was like, hey, I got a song just for you. Like, come to the crib. Like, I'm going to show you. So I put up on him. He played the song, and I was like, "Say less." I was like, "I got you." Mm, and he it was, was like, "I know, I oh, know yeah. you got me." So he's like, "I want you to do it just how you like, how you be doing your thing. I want that feel. Like, mm. I just want that vibe for once. You feel me? I don't want all that video vix and stuff. Like, I just want the vibe." So I was like, "I got you, fool." So it's crazy because I ain't asking for no bread. You feel me? Mm. And he still was just like. You know, what's up with you? Right, so I'm like, right. this just the respect out of that. But it was a cool day. And he he a cool artist to work mm, with. It was a dope sure. thing to do. So it was dope. Everything you do is for the culture. And everything <sighs> that you're making is kind of like feel good. and make you just want to keep watching it and, and keep watching it. Families get together and watch it and be like, right, okay, look right, at all these, right. you know, African-American in front of the screen. And it's just like, it's a beautiful thing to see for sure. Right, everything really that is. you do is like for the culture. So I don't know. I appreciate Definitely. that just allowing us to watch it and be tuned in and what you're doing. No, and what, thank uh, you for watching. What keeps you going? Like, what keeps you motivated to keep pushing every day? Get up and get this shit right. I will say God num- is my number one, and I feel like everybody say that. But that's the first thing I do when I wake up is pray. Um, and then it's just the love that I have for my craft, dude. It's just, I don't even know how I can explain it mm. because dance really saved me. Like, when I'm sad or I'm mad or I can't ex- express myself, that's the reason why I dance so hard. Like, when y'all watch the videos and y'all see these ugly-ass faces. You, st- you with the <laughs> faces. Um, you know what? I love you the faces. You for sure with the I facial do. expressions. For because sure. the facial expressions just add that much more to your exactly. style does. and your personality. And that's why you shine, you know? Because I've seen so many dancers where it's just... Nothing. Right. Nothing in their face. Right. But right. it just adds. It, it does add it. a little spice. It exactly. Does. It adds that spice to it. That's just the grit. That's the yeah. grit. That's the pain. Definitely. That's the hurt. That's the that's what I went through last night. That's mm-hmm. me not talking to who and 
da, 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 you feel me? Like, it all motivates me just to do better. And at the end of the day, you always want to improve yourself. So I'm chilling, you feel me? Everybody like, oh, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing that. But to me, I'm not satisfied. So I'm, I motivate myself. Right, <laughs> and then the right. people around me motivate me. So right. the council motivates me. Those women motivate me. Um, Cooley motivates me. Right. Um, the fact that, you know, I can still move forward. And, you know, now I feel like I don't get, I don't cry that much about schoolboy no more because I feel like I've graduated from that. And he's let me know, like, you doing your thing, keep doing you. Right. So that right. also motivates me too because I, I know if he was here, he'll still be under me. Like, bro. Right. Push, push, push. So it's the fact of that and to see young, 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 young women watch me and like kids and how oh. like when they see me, they light up or if I, if I reply right, or when I see them in the right. street, like all that motivate me. But mm-hmm. like I really be in the street, y'all. And people really be, I have to get my windows tinted. Mm, that's how I be. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah, how I yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. I have to get my windows tinted because I was in the car. I be jamming, okay? Mm-hmm. If you watch me, I be jamming. <laughs> I be in there like, uh, 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 <laughs> and I was in there getting off right, and I felt like you know somebody watching you or like recording you. Yeah. So I was like, I just like looked, and the whole car was up like, oh that star, and they had <laughs> they had their phone out there. It was like, hey, like what's up? I was like, oh no, nah. like, nah. yeah. so then I had to get my. You sick. get that at a lot of places at the mall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stuff, everywhere I go, I'm not gonna lie, and it's starting to get crazier. <laughs> like, and people are like, why do you keep going yeah. places by yourself? I'm like, because I just like to do stuff by myself yeah. it's getting to that point because mm-hmm. i'm like now i have to do i feel like now i have to force myself to do things by myself because life is getting crazy and mm-hmm. i'm not gonna be able to do it at all so now i'm just like let me just go to target real quick can't even do that yeah went to target little mama was in the store she she had to be like her late 20s and i was shopping i looked like a bum i'm pretty sure i cried all day and she tapped on my shoulder and she was like i knew it was you i like turned around <laughs> she said i knew it was, she like, I knew it was you and i was like oh and she was like, thank you so much. She's like, the Super Bowl was amazing. Like, you really put on for the city. Like, I really appreciate you. I'm sorry. She's like, I knew it was you because of your chain. I know you got the, your chain, your dad. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you're a fan. Right. And then yeah, she's like, no, fan. she's like, I support you for real. Like, keep doing you. And I was like, no, thank you. She's like, you live around here? I was like, no. <laughs> you asking too many questions. But no, nah, but <laughs> yeah, nah, it'd be, it be <laughs> wild. Like, when I be out, yeah. it's just, it's, it's going cool. Viral. It's when cool when they going to give you the blue check? Uh, they be playing, yeah. bro. I requested it like three times, and they still just like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you that's weird. overqualified. Yeah, God, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking crazy. too good. I'm thinking you would have had that already by it's, now. I things you've been on, like they should have been blessed you with that. It's gonna Man. happen though. It's gonna happen. No, it's gonna happen for sure. It's definitely gonna happen. It's wow. Is there ever times where you where you just have those days where it's like you know I don't want to, or are you past that like where I just don't want to do this Defeated? no more? Defeated yeah. is the word. Yeah, I had that uh, day of, uh, like last week. Oh really? Yeah. Even with sure. all the stuff that you've done previously. Oh, for sure. Time. What? I was hurt the day before the house party premiere. Mm-hmm. Crying the day before I went on that red carpet. What, what are you talking about? What would you say gets you into that space sometimes? Of feeling like defeated? Um, I would say, which I need to stop doing though, and I feel like a lot of us do. I don't know what it up, what is up with me and like caring about people's support so much. Like, yes, yeah. Yeah. maybe because I support, like, it's just like, I know if you do something, I'm going to go way out. You feel me? And right, I'm not asking right. you to do the most, but it's like a simple share or like a sense. It's For just sure. simple to me because right. it's like if you sharing other people's stuff or if you sharing a celebrity clothing brand or if you, you know what I'm saying? For to sure. me, I just you like it's do. nothing but a share. Yeah. So that stuff really be getting to me sometimes. But lately I have not been letting it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just like you know, personal stuff and yeah. friend stuff and relationship right, stuff. Right. Like I just be tired, bro. Because at the end of the day, I still got to get up and get out the house and be smiling. Mm-hmm. Like at the end of the day, yeah, like before right. any video. Like let me see, um, you can do it. Video. I was down bad. I was sad. <laughs> like there's a lot of videos I could tell you stories about. Family function uh, five. I was in upstairs crying, crunched up in fetal position because I was cramping. Like. Really couldn't mm-hmm. condition going, yeah, yeah. But as soon as four o'clock hit, boy, listen, everybody started showing up. I said, well, time to turn it on. We'll but it's just, know. and that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. and that's another reason why I'm trying to take more self care days for myself, like mentally and stuff like that. Cause that's not a healthy thing to do all the time. Right. Like right. having to just have to click it on every day and it's starting to become an everyday thing. Mm. So I'm like, let me just do self care days. So I'm like, I'll stay home all day, just be to myself. That's like, important. You know, but that's important. I don't do that shit enough. No, you really I, have I, to. Yeah, I don't. Sure. I just started doing it. I like try to myself because it's definitely, you definitely need those days to 
you know, clear your mind yeah, and think sure. about things. You Even know, my girl, she be telling me like, "You was grumpy as hell today." Like, I'm like, "Yeah, I need to go. I need to go take a nap. Or go something. take a nap. <laughs> Eat some good food. You like yeah, work yeah, out, something. like, cause work is starting. It's like too much. Like, mm. you damn near work for Instagram at this point. Like, yeah. you gotta, <laughs> yeah. you gotta. I gotta do this. And manager, you gotta post this. You gotta do this. Make sure you do this. Make sure you go. I gotta get that. Yeah. I'm like, dang. Like, can I wake up? Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, Damn. it's always some shit. <laughs> but then I'm very blessed. I'm not, mm, and I will true. never complain. You feel me? I'm gonna mm. get up. I might have an attitude for that whole little hour on the way there, but you'll never know that mm. once I start dancing. Yeah, well, I can't tell. Like I said, yeah. you you go out there and because really I feel make it, it happen. I be feeling it like right. for real. Yeah, it's like once that song come on and that the music come on, you just turn into a whole nother. Person. Yeah, you block What's everything up? else out. What's yeah, up? it's just ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> it's nothing to talk about. But yeah, we definitely appreciate you for coming on the show. Oh, for I, sure. I, I, we definitely, yeah, I feel definitely. a lot motivated um, just doing what I do and just going out there and wanting to attack it more, especially knowing that you have a lot of trials and tribulations that you go through and you still make it happen every single time. So it motivates, I know, a lot of us to, yeah, to keep it going. Definitely. Sure. Thank definitely you for having me. Yeah, yeah, definitely sure. women too. Like we really for appreciate sure. you being here. Of so course. like what would be one piece of advice for women in this industry that you would give? Oh girl, because <sighs> it's they be hard. swearing, bro. I'm like, Oh, you think because I'm a girl, you think you're yeah. gonna play me? Yeah. Like for real. And I really be having to tell women like and men too, when I do business with them, like first homie, mm-hmm. yes, I'm cute. But that does not give you the right to flirt with me to work with me. That don't yeah. make no right. sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be right. smart. Yeah. Like, yeah. Make sure it, you and get that, a lot. And, yeah. that, and I hate that. Because yeah, it just starts making me feel like, oh, what are we really here for? Exactly. And right. it's like you did not have to come like that. So that's number one. Ladies, <laughs> correct them and get them together. But what I will say for women that's in the industry, you just really have to have tough skin. Because as deeper as it gets and as crazier as it gets, it's going to be harder. Because now that I'm in it, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is wild. Like, you really just have to stay on your P's and Q's. And at the end of the day, everything's a key key. People are not your friend. Mm -hmm. Even if they do share your stuff or if you do get a close connection to somebody in the industry or or a mentor, like, always make sure you're watching out for people who mentor you as well. Um, Make sure you know who a mentor is and people that you're putting your business out to. But you always just got to make sure that you're strong and you keep your head on a swivel. Cause it's like a shark's den in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like the Girl. way you put that. Yeah. <laughs> like Damn, it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It Not is. Playing. It's like you walk in, and I'm like, "Whoop! Well, all right, know who I gotta watch mm-hmm. out for today." Like, it's a different <laughs> type of scene, different type of scenery. Everybody like, "Oh, you there? You there?" Oh. I'm like, "Yeah, okay, but it's a job mm-hmm. <laughs> for sure." Damn. Where can everybody follow you at for those who don't know you? Where can they check out all your videos, um, social media? Just give them everything, oh, and what's coming up next as well, if you want to. Spill a little tea. I know you're working on Sunday. Yeah, you gotta have some. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you gotta her. have some. Uh, you you can find know. me on Instagram at Storm the Barge. Um, everything's pretty much on there. Yeah, if you mm-hmm. go to my Instagram at Storm the Barge, everything's connected there. So TikTok and Coolies YouTube, but everything on there. I'm gonna start my YouTube soon, okay, but cool. everything's on there. Um, so I just oh, I got the notification this morning. So Calmatic. I love you, dog. So, right so, yeah, so this no, just no, came no, no, this no, morning. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is fresh from this morning. So he had uh, hit me, and I actually choreographed and moved and direct a commercial for TurboTax, and it came on TV today. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Yeah. Congratulations. So I did yeah, that, sure. I did that last that. month. Amazing. It was super dope. Thank you. He hit me and was like, hey, fool, like, I need you. I was like, what is it? And then he did that, and then I um, also did, um, like, two weeks after that, he hit me again, and I did a commercial for Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos, flaming Hot Cheetos. Dang, um, I wasn't in it though, behind the camera, because of course I want to get into my bag more. Um, mm-hmm. I want to be right. behind. I want to be sure. producer, director. So it was cool to be in a choreographer, movement director for that as well. So that's um, coming out. If you guys watch TV, it'll be on Turbo Tax. And then when the okay. Hot Cheetos one comes out, hopefully it's a uh, hopefully it's a Super Bowl commercial, so we can get the bread. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You uh, need that bag, y'all. So yeah. Sure. Need the bag. So he could get that bag. Yeah, sure. But yeah, sure. that's pretty much it. Um, I have a family function coming up. I'm actually I just got done writing it, so I want to film it within the next two weeks. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I cannot really mention, but definitely um working on directing more. Um, working with some more artists. Um, doing some short films. Um, pro- I'm a producer on a short film that's going to come out. Mm. Um, yeah. So. 
We are, I like thanks. We are nah, super excited. Sure. We're I'm all excited, excited to see what's to come. We're going to stay you. tuned. Yeah. We're probably going to have you on here again because you're doing let's so do much. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I need I need to get invited to one of them family functions. Yeah. No, no, no. So I'm doing no boogie on the next yeah. one I'm doing <laughs> is going to be, I'm not going to tell y'all because yeah. I'm going to give it away. Okay. But slide in the DMs. The next one, I'm going to have y'all pull up to the park when I do the point at the park. But it's going to be cracking this summer. So, yeah, I'll make sure y'all there. Make sure y'all come in. We appreciate you for coming. Of course. Thank you. Tune in to the most underrated podcast in the game. It's your host, directed by Jay. Co-host, TC Underrated. Co-host, Jade Alexandria. Oh, and Star and Devarge. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We out. We out. <laughs>